Hey devs, back again for another two minute tools and tip Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at Git aliases and how we can leverage those to simplify long winded Git commands that we use all the time. So here we can see that we have one file that has been changed, but is yet untracked. So let's take a look at how we can create a very basic alias. So here we'll type git status. Now we're going to create an alias so that if we just enter git s, it'll execute the status command. To create an alias, type git config dash dash global alias dot and then the symbol we want to use as the alias then in quotes the full command that we wanted to execute now if we type git s it will execute git status for us now let's create an alias to commit the file so first off we'll add it now that the file is staged and ready to be committed we can create our alias we're going to create an alias for the git commit dash m command So to create that alias, we'll do git config dash dash global again so that it's globally available, alias dot, in this case we'll use ca as the alias name, and then we'll type commit dash m. So now if we do git ca and then a message, it will execute git commit dash m. Aliases are really useful with very long commands like the one seen here. We certainly wouldn't want to type this in every time. So we can create an alias so that this long-winded logging command can be done very easily. So once again, we'll do git config dash dash global alias dot, we'll name the alias pretty graph in this case. And then within the quotes, We'll paste in that long command once again. Once that's been executed, we will now have an alias called pretty graph, which we can use to execute that long logging command and get this nice graph tree. Git aliases makes Git work for us by adapting to our style and making us more efficient. 